after understanding the total derivative we are going to apply it on an economic situation which is basically a production function and they are uh, dependent upon labor uh, production function is based upon labor and capital that are time dependent now before we understand the uh, mathematics of it we should try to understand the logic of it in real life that why we are talking about time related consider a dynamic production function we call it dynamic because it is changing over time so there is a role of time in this uh, production process how we can see it here uh, it's quite a bit of a cobb douglas production function However, this, fun uh, this component is uh, based upon time, which is usually there in Cobb-Douglas production function. However, it is based upon time. Uh, let's see, it is increasing function of time. It says that this component is uh, going to increase as the time passes. Since it is increasing, it means that it is going to add into the uh, overall output. And definitely, it is the technology that can be put here at least among other things if uh, if present mainly technology is something that usually improves over time so we have included technology here that is a function of time and then k capital is not just a simple function it is uh, composed of two parts one is the k naught that is initial condition of k that what is the level of capital when we begin the analysis that is now and a into t is the time induced improvement in capital as you know over time capital gets better and better due to research and development so this is also added in the overall capital initial condition that this was the initial level of capital and these are the improvements t is time so you see it is positively affecting the overall level that initial level is getting improved as the time is passing labor is also there the initial level of labor the initial condition of labor and b into time that is a coefficient which is showing the time induced improvement in labor so improvements can be either qualitative or quantitative the number of labor can increase as well as the quality of the labor that is their experience and skill it can also increase so the labor is also dynamic in nature we can say that capital and as well as labor is also dependent upon uh, time in addition to output which was initially uh, you know considered to be dependent upon time as the technology depends upon time so definitely there is no surprise in this um, set of uh, values because time basically affects every other variable so uh, if output is getting affected it's not just getting affected by one thing over time it is increasing uh, it is uh, time is affecting la labor very uh, favorably and labor is increasing output time is affecting capital favorably and capital is then affecting output so there is direct dependence as well as indirect dependence you remember this that whenever we have direct and indirect effect then we call the total derivatives for our rescue and here we can see the total derivative is mentioned uh, but if you look at this uh, equation it's going to uh, well guide us about how it works so let's uh, zoom in uh, let me translate it the effect of time on output is basically the sum of these three values firstly the output gets affected directly over time Secondly, time improves capital and capital then contributes to output. Thirdly, time improves labor and labor then affects the output. So all the sources are then summed up. This is why the total derivative concept is applicable here. Because there are 
three factors that are directly or indirectly contributing that is time, capital and labor. So, the formula is built instead of writing d k over d t we wrote this and instead of writing d l over d t we wrote this that is change in capital over time, change in labor over time and this is uh, change in labor, uh, change in output due to labor, the marginal product of labor, change in uh, output due to capital and this is the marginal product of capital. So, you see many economic variables are um, getting produced in this process. So, let us try to find out the specific values in this case because we have a specific out production function. Firstly, we find the value of this uh, derivative which is simply the derivative of the output function or the production function with respect to time and the answer is this because these are constants in this case. So, there will be no change in them, they will be treated as coefficients whereas, this uh, contains time t and this is why it is the first derivative of it that we have here. So, other thing that is d uh, q or uh, delta q over delta k this uh, term again it is simple to differentiate it partially with respect to k and you can see I am highlighting the changed term whereas, other terms are the same. So, the change is visible here with respect to k I am differentiating it and rearranging by writing alpha outside as a coefficient and writing the variable terms afterwards. So, this rearrangement is meaningful and we get the value of this part. Similar to it is this term. So, I am going to use this term and I will come to the other two terms this term the d k over d t and d l over d t afterwards, but since these two terms are similar this is why I am going to solve for delta q over delta l over delta delta q over delta l this is it. So, again differentiating with respect to l this function is very easy I am going to highlight the part which is affected due to differentiation other things are remaining the same since they do not have labor in them they are treated as constants beta has come in the beginning and the labor part is left in at the end whereas, these terms they are treated as constant where the labor is the variable of concern. So, now I have these three values this value that value and this value, but in the formula I do not have uh, three values on the right hand side I have five. So, these values that I am overlining not underlining overlining are the values I need to know that is d k over d l and d l sorry d k over d t and d l over d t that is let me put bring it into the view I should explain this change in capital over time this is change in labor over time. In other words, time related improvements in capital and labor. So, these are not just ordinary terms, these are terms with their interpretations and their solution is very easy because we were told that capital is equal to this function. When we take the derivative with respect to time this term will be reduced to 0 and t will be uh, reduced to 1 and a will be left as a coefficient of t because d t over d t will be equal to 1. In the same way I can differentiate this with respect to t that is this function labor function and b will be left whereas, l naught will be gone because it is free of time variable. So, I have these two values as well. So, third and uh, fifth uh, fourth and fifth values they are found which have their own economic interpretations. Now, substituting all of these values 
um, this is MPK, the famous notations from economics. MPL. This is change in cap capital improvement actually due to time and this is change in labor improvement in labor due to time whereas this is also something that is change in output over time so the values are there uh, let me make them more uh, readable I'm underlining the first value it is of this whereas I'm encircling the MPKs MPK and the MPL and the un uh, or boxed values I should say are here so now it is very easy for you to judge that how various values are substituted underlined encircled and put in a box so you can see the substitution now it is simple algebra that you have been doing for a very long time now and you should be able to make sense of these steps it's a small DIY for you do it yourself this is simply the rearrangement of the uh, values that we have um, the key point however I should guide you is that uh, we can see that there are some common terms and this is a very uh, natural reaction of a mathematician to take the common factors whenever they are available here capital and labor with alpha beta they are present approximately in every um, term out of the three terms so we have taken them as common factors capital alpha and labor beta the remaining term will be this uh, the minus 1 power as you can see here then minus 1 power of capital is left here so you can do this simple algebra that which you have been doing before so um, we can now write them in a consolidated way uh, instead of writing k minus 1 I can bring it down into the denominator that is I can reciprocalize it to make its power change its sign so this is the change in output change in output over time it is a dynamic function as it is as we can see that the time is bringing changes in output and definitely it's not uh, between time and output the role of labor and capital is visible the role of technology is there the role of time is there so you see all of these components they are there and they are contri contributing to the output uh, we can make a flow chart just to remind ourselves that how the output is affected this is the output time is affecting output directly as well as it is affecting labor which then is contributing to output and it is also affecting capital which then is contributing to the output so due to this we have multiple rates of change and then we have to sum them up and use the total derivative so this is how the total derivative can be applied to a dynamic production function. Thank you.